A while back, I became interested in making a snug for metrology purposes, very similar to the Sterrett 57S snug. However, in contrast to the Sterrett snug, I needed one that would have up to a half inch capacity on the upper portion of the snug. The lower portion has the same capacity as the Sterrett 57S going from 3 16th, uh, or rather, excuse me, one quarter inch size down to as small as 5 32nd uh, size. The way this snug worked was not always clear to me from the pictures, the still pictures that I'd seen of it. Um, and so I'm making this video to show how this snug actually is constructed and works. This top knurled nut pulls everything together. Stack, it's like a stack of checkers, these various pieces. And as you snug down on this nut, it compresses all of those uh, rings in such a way that the rods included are fixed. If you loosen it up just a little bit, you can turn the rods in such a way that they can have any relative configuration that you would like. And then let's take this snug apart so that you can see how it works on the inside. First off, slip off that knurled nut. Incidentally, this is all made out of uh, 4140 pre-hard and I drew up uh, my drawings based on the general construction of the Sterrett snug but just uh, scaled it up a little bit. So there's a washer. Next off comes this little donut with four holes in it um, arranged at 90 degrees to each other. Out comes the half inch rod. Um, next comes this second donut with corresponding four holes in it. Then out comes this uh, quarter inch pin. Off comes this little donut right here with uh, eight holes in it to accommodate four different sizes of rod. Then here's the center portion that comes out of the lowest donut and notice that the center portion here has this little step off, this little uh, lip on it that catches inside this donut on this ring right here. And that's what pulls that whole stack together as you cinch down on the nut. It's really a very neat design that Sterrett came up with many years ago um, and one that uh, I find very useful. Thanks for watching. Uh, Appreciate the information that I got from some helpful members on Practical Machinist website that provided me some uh, pictures of the uh, Sterrett Snug and gave me a clue as to how it worked. That's all for now.